how are you? It is Tuesday, Katie. It is. It is Tuesday. And things are a little more settled around here at the minute. Really? Eh, ish. Okay. Uh, today we're going to talk about Scottishes. Yeah. Uh, because one of the reasons is we've a good selection in it. I know I say it every month. I'm getting a bit repetitive. I hear myself saying it. But also, we were only talking about it a few minutes ago with people who was here visiting us. Uh, about um, So Paddy's Weekend is on Paddy's Weekend, obviously. But it's now going to be the unmerciful party from God knows where. Party of all parties. Parties of all parties. There's two bank holidays. Mm -hmm. So that's the Thursday and the Friday. The Saturday and the Sunday then. Sunday, Ireland up here in Scotland in the rugby in Dublin. OMG. There's going to be a lot of people phoning in sick on Monday. There'll be a lot of people phoning in sick. None in this office. I'll do what I want. You will. So we said we'd talk about That's the Scottish... Robert. He's not allowed. Yeah, he's not allowed to phone in sick. No, no absolutely. Uh, we said we'd talk about the Scotch because, again, we've got such a good covering in them and because they'll be over here uh, pillaging and, and going bananas uh, in Dublin. Glenfiddich. 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 I'll pronounce it whatever way I want because I say is what I sees. You does? I does. <laughs> I is that simple. It looks like that. Walks like a duck. Squacks like a duck. Smells like a duck. It looks like a piggy on. It's a piggy on. It's a piggy on. It's not a pigeon. No, it's, it's a, piggy a piggy on. on. Yeah, exactly. Ridiculing me. <laughs> Miss you, Mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. Bitch. Yeah. Uh, so, Glenn Fiddick, uh, 19 year old. The price point on Scotch whiskey, I know that they're further on in the journey than we are. They've got all the distilleries that have aged stock from back in the days of yonder. We don't. We only have, really have Cooley. But the price point on uh, Glenfiddich is really, really good. And, and actually on any aged Scotch whiskey um, is really, really good. And uh, 19 year old, they're not an expensive thing. They're a nice presentation. We oh, did I have a wee conversation have. that I, I don't think they're as good as some of our Irish. Mm. I know you've got your thoughts on I it. I do thoughts have my thoughts. On it. But, but they've I, been out a long time. Yeah, but I still think that we can hold our own, Katie. I mean, again, I mean, modern ones, Waterfords, a real eye-catching on a bar, Tailings, Tailings Premium and Prestige Bottlings. I don't think there's many out there that can as good as it. But They're pretty. Yes. But my opinion... Right. Is that not uh, just to clarify this? This isn't an official statement on behalf no, of Irish whiskey options. I, I, I I'm listen, disavowing her. I l- I'll probably divorce her. I love Teeling. I yeah. love what they do. I they mean, don't love us, but I know. But that's haven't sent me a t-shirt in ages. Their presentations fab, but it's repetitive because mm. it's essentially a reincarnation of the same thing. They just change a color. It could be silver or gold or rose gold but it's still the same they do oh, like oh me and you's going to have a talk later on and you seen the Johnny Walker me and you's going to have a serious talk later on I'm telling you there is going to be listen it's Jack, just Jack Steving she doesn't mean a word of it it's disgraceful listen it's just Can't, it's just wash them out with soap and water I still love you two XL t-shirts you going to have them two XL t-shirts that's all I want <laughs> Two XL, two XL. Well, you just do your thing. Uh, Lagavulin, and uh, these are highly sought after bottles. Distillers editions. So Lagavulin is an Isla malt, um, uh, heavier on the peaty side. Bit too much for me now. Bit too much for me as well. Not, I'm not there yet on my journey. Uh, when I start riding Harley Davidson motorbikes and smoking cigars, then I'll be in Lagavulin. Hey. <laughs> um, Lagavulin, 1979. We don't get out like them, and then two of them come along. They're like bloody buses, I tell you. 1979, 1980, distillers editions. They are sought after. They are a wanted bottles. We will talk about the McAllen's next. Sorry. So McAllen's done, that's concept number three. There is concept number two, concept number one. They were all uh, limited edition releases. I say limited edition. Their version of limited edition and ours is... Two different things. A couple of mountains. Yeah, they, the there was airport. a lot of them. We were dri- going through, driving through, we weren't driving, we through, were Heathrow. driving through Heathrow. We were going through Heathrow and there was a shed load of them. There was? Not a shed load of them because sh- I'm not allowed to say no, that. No, you're not allowed to use bad language. <coughs> a Night on Earth in Scotland. Da 
that is uh, the latest one that everybody is talking about. Everybody's uh, on Facebook going, where can I get this? And other bar stewards are going, look at me, I have 20 of them. <laughs> I haven't got 20 of them, other people are saying that. Uh, lovely presentation again. McAllen are very, very good at the presentation thing. Uh, it is a bit unsteady, so I have to be have multiple hands. But look at that. I think that's cool. It is. It's now, beautiful. when we first got it, it was like a scene out of the Krypton Factor. I know many of you younger ones won't know what the Krypton Factor was, but Krypton Factor was prime time viewing. I'm telling you, we used to sit and watch it. That's how I am as sharp as I am. Yeah. Sitting, looking, and trying to put round bricks in square holes. Sharp as a tack, you. <laughs> sharp as a blunt teaspoon. McAllen, 25 year old. That is another cracker. Um, I'll open that. You grab that. That is uh, one for the collectors. Distilled in 1968. 25 year old. A uh, bit rustic in their presentation. I'm glad to see that McAllen have evolved a little bit since that. But uh, that's still nice. 68 and 25. When was that bottle, Kitty? Okay. You that's great at maths. I am not good at maths. You're not. 94. You said now. Do you know it's 94 or are you just guessing? I know it's 94. You're after working that out? He did in his jacks. <laughs> did in his jacks. <laughs> 1994. What were you doing in 94? Um, we have... So they're all the sort of premium stuff, but I just wanted to talk about other whiskies that we... Scotch that we have in the auction. Here's one of the Highland Parks. Um, Monsieur Fogarty from El Mulligan Whiskey Shop in Dublin. He curated and put together that single cast bottle for for... The shop mm-hmm. and for Highland Park, great advocate of Highland Park. He was oh, uh, a brand ambassador. Yeah, good. he is. Which that's because he is bloody Scotch. I know, but He's sort of you know. Now he does wave his Irish flag every now and then, but he still talks with a funny l- lilt. The lilt. <laughs> no, lilt. That's, no, baby, that's a twitch. All oh, right, he doesn't talk with a funny twitch. No. No, oh, okay. Uh, Abelor, 10 year old. Glen Morangi, 10 year old. Some of them Glen Morangis are very collectible. We know several people who do collect them and yeah. are go mad over them. Johnny Walker, I didn't bring the other one down, I forgot it. We'll show you tomorrow, it's really good. That's crazy. lovely, but that's a lovely presentation there yeah. too, just mm-hmm. in the sort of decanter style bottle as well. Um, they're going decent, average, run of the mill money. Again, great value for, for bang for the buck. I mean, some of that Abelure stuff, Abuna and all the other ones, I love them, just big sherry yeah. bombs, real, real tasty. Mm-hmm. Whiskey, Glen Morangi, A Tale of Winter. I think they were talking to uh, Mark Renier or Ned uh, about doing these seasonal bottlings. Lovely. And we've got a taste of winter, a tale of winter. Lovely. Because I was listening to the podcast with Ned the other day. That cork has been, was talking to him. What do you call him? Lowry was talking to him. And uh, Ned was talking about how, you know, the, the cuvées will, yeah. will evolve for them and all that sort of stuff. So they'll have the seasonal cuvées. So again, he the hearth was one of the ones for the winter, you know, lovely warming whiskey. Whereas he was saying the the, the picnic was a nice summery, floral, light, lighter yeah. whiskey. So again, that's how he sees the, the cuvées evolving. And Glenn Morangi said, we'll have some of that idea and we'll call it winter. Genius. Why not? Hey, here's all the ones that we don't really, people don't rate them. But I mean, as blended whiskey goes, blended whiskey is a real skill. It's a real art, I think. And I don't think this bottles, I mean, everybody loves a sexy single malt and it's all it's single cask and it's fantastic. But the art of blending is a real finesse. It's a, a, a blender is a real deft touch and just can make it. I don't know. What was that? Four minutes. One minute. Well, yeah. You can say it. We're well, used to your voice. Scotch. Blends. Have a look at them. Blends. Really do look at them. Great, gonna kill us great drinking whiskies. Great drinking whiskies. He's always giving it. I know. He's always giving it. He's always babysitting for you. Yeah. So, so that's we it. speak to you tomorrow. Will we speak to them tomorrow? We will. All right. Okay. We'll speak Bye. to you tomorrow. Good luck. <laughs>